we're gonna take a look at how you can position certain parts of your text differently than others without having to use multiple different widgets. For example, we can make a part of a sentence smaller and still align it to the top or the middle or below the main text. This is also very useful for things like numbers so you can really get your text looking exactly the way you want it to and it's fully responsive. We're gonna be looking at how to do this in Elementor but since we're gonna be using a little bit of CSS this works anywhere you can use CSS as well. My name is Tim and with all of that said Let's get started. First, what we need to do is add in our heading. Now this works with both headings and text editors and several other widgets that use text as well. If you're using a text editor, just make sure you go under text instead of visual. But I added in a heading and once I do that, I'm gonna add in some text. Once I add in my text, I need to wrap the text that I want to reposition inside a div. Choose the part of your sentence that you want to style differently. In my case, it's the word subscribe. And then just go ahead and wrap it in a div tag, just like this. So that's the first part done. Next up, we're gonna go back into the first part of our div tag, this one. And we're just gonna type in a space and then type in class equals quotation marks. Don't forget the quotation marks. If you don't add those in, it's not going to work. And then we're just going to give it a class. Now this class can be anything. You just have to target it correctly in the next step. I'm going to name it different minus text. Before we finish this, if this video is helpful, please make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really does help me out a whole lot. Now we're going to go under advanced custom CSS. Now this is for Elementor Pro users. If you're using the free version of Elementor, go ahead and go into your admin bar and press customize and then additional CSS, just like this. But I'm gonna be working here under advanced custom CSS. So I'm just gonna copy and paste in this CSS and this will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in. The first thing, don't forget to change the class if you named it differently in the previous step. Now what we have here is very simple. The first part of the CSS sets the font size to be 60% of the font size we're using for our heading. So if I go ahead and go into the heading, go under style and I make the font size of that heading smaller or larger, this text gets resized with it and the proportions always stay the same. It's always 60% of the actual font size. If you're interested about how and why this works, I have an awesome video about units in Elementor. So go check it out. The link is in the description. Now you can make this value anything or you can completely remove the font size property if you want it to be the same size as the rest of your text. I'm gonna keep it in, but you can remove it. Next up, we have display inline block. We need this to make sure the text stays in the same line. Without it, the text is going to break into multiple lines. So we don't want that. So we keep it in. And the last part of the CSS allows us to position our text. The first value allows us to move it horizontally. So left or right, but you're likely not going to want to do that. The second value is the one we're interested in and it moves the text vertically. So up or down. If you make it a negative value, it's going to move up. And if it's a positive value, it's going to move down. And you can make these values anything you want and you can use whichever unit you want. Just play around with the font size and this value until you get the result you want. I'm just going to type in some extra text after this so we get the lines of text to break for tablet and mobile so you can see it's fully responsive. And now if we take a look at our tablet and mobile views, you can see everything is fully responsive. Obviously, if you make the text too large or if you move it too much, you might run into some problems, but hey, maybe that's what you want. You can probably get some cool effects when doing this. If you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this video next. If you found this one interesting, I guarantee you're gonna find that one very interesting as well. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching.